In this video, you'll hear all about my weekly reset. So if you're interested in learning about the steps I take to ensure a smooth week in the classroom, keep watching. Hi, welcome to the Teacher's Playbook. This is a channel made for teachers by a teacher. I'm Melanie Howell and I've been a classroom teacher for more than 20 years. You know that anxious feeling many of us get usually on Sunday evenings as we start thinking about and becoming a little overwhelmed with all the things that we know are coming up in the following week. These are the six steps that I have developed for myself over the years to help me be more proactive at school and less reactive. Step one, every Sunday night, I clean out my teacher bag. This might not be a big deal for you, but for me this is a big deal because I have to go through my bag, I have to make sure there are no loose papers down in there that I have forgotten a form I may have forgotten to fill out or a certificate I need to sign before the next week starts. My goal is to leave last week, last week, and start this week ready to go. Number two, after cleaning out my teacher bag, the next thing I do is check my calendar. Are there any fire drills this week? Will there be an assembly schedule? All of those things that we all know as teachers can come up and throw just a little kink in our schedule, which of course affects our lesson plans. And number three is I check my lesson plans. I go over my lesson plans mostly for the purpose of making sure I have all the materials that I'm going to need for the week. Because sometimes when I'm at school planning, I think, oh yeah, I'll just run to the grocery store and pick up a bag of whatever. But it's Sunday night and I don't like to go to the store during the week. So I need to make sure that my materials list is ready to go for the week. Step four, now I'm ready to move to the computer. The first thing I do is check my email make sure I responded to all of my emails because we all know some of them will come in over the weekend. Um, luckily, I work at a school that sends out a Sunday email to all the parents and teachers with uh, calendar items and different types of things to celebrate. So I'll go through that Sunday email, make sure my calendar matches the school's master calendar. Number five, grade book. I go into my grade book, which is through RenWeb at my school, just to make sure, not just that I've entered everything, but have I filled all of those holes for kids who didn't turn work in? We all know how hard it is to track down those kids with those assignments, and we always say we're not going to do it, and yet they're 10 years old, and I will, I need that paper, I need that paper. Okay, sorry. I go through my grade book and I make that list of kids that I need to talk to first thing Monday morning to get assignments from the previous week. Step six, the final step in my process is to create assignments. This is where, again, I've looked at my lesson plans, I've made a list. Do I need to create a Socrative assignment? Do I need to create a Kahoot? Um, this is also where I'll go into files from previous years and maybe make changes to a test I've given before to better fit the group I have this year. But step six is where I go through and create any assignments that need to be created for the upcoming week. Teachers, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give organization a big thumbs up because we all know if we're organized that proactive is so much better than reactive in the school environment. I hope everybody has a great week. Bye.